So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a quick tip for NX Cam and NX1899. So in NX1899, by default, the operation dialog now displays in this Explorer style layout. Um, it's very similar to what was in previous versions of NX, um, but now that on this, this left hand side, there are several groups. Um, if you click on one, the right hand side will change. This is, the groups are very similar to what we're used to in the previous version uh, with some differences. And if you try to create a planar mill operation in NX1899, you may have noticed that the step over parameter is difficult to find. And that's because by default in NX1899, that parameter is hidden. Uh, the way to turn it on is to come down to the options, click on the options group, come over here to the customized dialog, and in here, uh, see I've searched for step. Here's the full list of parameters that can be added to the dialog. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add the step over method. So we're under the items to add. We've selected step over method, and we're gonna add that to the items used. And then we can come down here to the preview, and we can take a look at what we did. So right here, we can see that the step over now displays at the top of the dialog box. Um, but if I'd like, so I'd like it to show somewhere down here, which is what I'm used to, it's, it makes sense to me. Uh, so that's where, that's where I'm gonna put it. And I'm gonna do that using this arrow right here. You can use the up and down arrows to place the new parameter uh, wherever you would like. Put it right there. And now we can see that the step over and percent of flat diameter parameters show up right here under the main group. We can click OK to that. And we can continue programming with our planar mill operation. Uh, this is done per operation. So when we create a new operation, the planar mill, we see that the step over, once again, is not showing. Now, if you want that parameter to always show by default, what you can do is go into your, into your operation templates, and you can make the change there, save it, and then you'll always have your step over in your planar mill operation showing.